Tough Nut, his uh, young company. Uh, we're audio enthusiasts, and we started out of a necessity to start building stuff for ourselves. Uh, and we realized that if we were doing, if we were really serious about this, we would have to produce a much better product. And so we started out building standard uh, formats, racks of platforms, uh, and we developed our product with the most basic principles. We have our three Ds. One is the ability to disrupt seismic vibration through these rubber cones. And it's a, again, it's a pretty basic technology. The second is the ability to deflect energy down and away from the surface of our platforms and our racks. Everything we do has a bevel on it, which again is notionally quite simple. Uh, the, the next thing we do is we dissipate energy. And so our aluminum top plates actually act as a conduit for turntables, CD players, and uh, tube amps uh, to draw that energy down. The feet obviously ride on the aluminum and then that transmits that negative energy into the insulative layers below. Uh, and so everything we do on the platforms and on the rack is hard maple. And we do that because it is a diffuse force material. It's a very tight grain and it's better for deflecting. Whereas our acoustic panels are ring force, it absorbs. And so we're mindful of where we do that. And then in our construction, we're mindful of how the grain goes. Our grain travels the opposite of the primary sound waves. And so on our uh, isolation platforms for our turntables, if the rebound sound, airborne vibration is coming head on, what we do is we run the slats of our structure perpendicular because sound travels four times faster with the grain than against the grain. And so it restricts the grain, uh, it restricts the vibration, sorry. And then if we're building something for monoblocks uh, on the ground, they're usually situated beside subwoofers or towers, and a lot of the vibration comes from the sides. And so then the slats run front to back. I mean, and so that, that we're using fundamentals again to uh, assist us in um, the this managing the or restri restricting the vibration. So that's it's they're all little things, but at what point do not pay attention to the little things? And that's consistent with everything we do. So this is our GP1 or our entry level. It's a solid maple unit and it has two layers of insulative content. Uh, we have the aluminum plate, which is again the conduit to draw the energy down from the component. The reason this doesn't go all the way across uh, is because um, we only need it under the feet. Uh, and so in the center, we've introduced um, a veg tan leather, which is embossed supporting the Tough Nut brand. And so leather is good for absorbing vibration, but it's not the primary reason it's here. Um, this is our entry level product, but we still want somebody to be proud to own this, right? They want the craftsmanship, uh, and that's the way we look at everything. If I wouldn't do, I, it can't be in my living room, it can't be in anybody's, and so that's the fundamental. And so this is the next model up, and so uh, it performs better than the GP1. This is our GP2, uh, and so there's a difference of approximately 60 B. This is 6 dB quieter at 100 hertz at 100 dB, the sound pressure level. So the interest, this is actually quite flexible. A lot of our clients have smaller shelves, narrower shelves, and because these feet don't come all the way through the body, we have the flexibility to build a custom scenario for clients with smaller or restricted spaces. So, and then we go, to a GP3, which is our top of the line. And this is new for us, it's the black edition. And this is virtually what we see here. And so this has all of the insulative layers. And again, we manage which way the grain's going. We incorporate the bevel to drive sound down and away. This actually has three layers of stain and three layers of a diamond finish, which makes it harder restricting airborne vibration even more. And so 
we have an uh, um, applied acoustic application. And then what we do is use a harder rubber and we change the direction. This becomes a grid pattern so that we don't get a standing wave in a micro sense in, in the actual core of the unit. And then we use um, a, a softer EPDM and then the aluminum plate which absorbs that negative energy and draws it down. In that regard, it's important that the plate doesn't touch the perimeter because there's obviously vibration there from the forces being put upon it. So that's a good example of what the core is. And the feet are again a rubber foot. We build up the mass with a stainless steel barrel. And so these, uh, we sell these for uh, speakers, standalone speakers, towers and what have you. Uh, and they come in different uh, hardnesses as well, depending on the loading, the weight of the speaker. And then we have smaller units that actually apply two components. And so right now we're just working on different thread sizes so that there's greater uh, flexibility in that capacity. So um, our racks are fundamentally built the same way. Everything has that bevel. This is maple and again, the black stain, but it also comes in the natural. These units typically come with oak, or sorry, maple uh, base, which is also suspended. So this unit has rubber bushings, and then the shelves on the, the rails have the same small cone. So every shelf is isolated individually. And then the option again to upgrade to uh, a better performing GP series unit. So a GP1 through a GP3. Uh, everything's powder coated. One of the neat things we've done now is we've gone to square holes and we're now using carriage bolts. So the installation or the adjustability is considerably greater. We're simply pushing in the, parage, the carriage bolt, it keys into the square, and then we use acorn nuts and a lock washer. Uh, so you really only need one tool, which is a benefit. And uh, the option with these is we can either use our stainless steel barrels and a harder rubber foot, or there's an upgrade to isoacoustics. And this can be seen in a larger application. Over here, we have two custom units that we've made for Dome. And so this is the Purse 39. It's, again, solid maple. We incorporate the same bevels. In this particular instance, uh, we don't have a turntable on here, but this is also a GP3, but in the natural maple. And then each shelf here has actually been upgraded to a GP1 with black leather runners. Upgraded feet to the uh, isoacoustic rhea. And then we've incorporated custom here, carbon fiber, uh, to coordinate with the, the custom rack we made for Dawn for the Rega Nyad turntable. And because this has a wall-mounted application, uh, we developed a rack that would facilitate that, still using the similar profiles to what we use typically uh, with the carbon fiber inlay again. It uh, simulates the carbon fiber on the turntable, but these three shelves are actually the GP2s and the base is the GP3A for the subwoofers. And one last thing is for this show and for the fun of it, we've built this LP stand, which has the same profile, right? And so this is fun. It's uh, so the middle two shelves come out, the load is 100 pounds. The rack itself uh, supports 390 LPs. So these two move the base and the top is fixed. And then the pant and sides are acoustic baffles and they're pure wool, acoustic baffles. And a uh, fun fact, the center fabric is actually from a Fender Reverb amp. So anyway, we're having fun with it, but that was again, a special prototype for show. And so the idea is, is that these would be sold into, or individually, but they could also be an upgrade for the rack itself. So we're looking at something that will integrate. So 
On our website, you can pretty much find everything that we uh, fabricate. All the pricing is there, the flexibility of materials. Uh, it's also important to note that we do a lot of custom work, as you've seen here. Uh, but if you have specific needs, we can work with you. If you provide us the details for your equipment, uh, we'll make sure we can build a rack that facilitates that, manages the weight stresses, heat gain with tube amps and relative to the juxtaposition of the wood and what have you. And so the best thing to do would be to reach out to us um, either via my email uh, or through the internet. We're also on Instagram uh, and uh, see what we can do to support you.